guys, it's Maureen. Welcome back to my little English page. Today is Thursday. It's our usual live meeting and I'm super excited to see you guys today. So let's see who is already here in the comment section. Hi, Sergi, Loli, Sheriff, Throw It. Um, Yashar is here as well. Khalid is here as well. Awesome to see you guys. So today we're going to have quite... I think a fun lesson, it's a little bit different. So you're still going to learn some vocabulary throughout the lesson, but the main focus of today's lesson, the topic is brands. Brands. Okay, so before we start guys, remember you could become a patron and that would give you a big shout out on Saturday and also a big shout out on Instagram. A part, and also, of course, there's my undying love and gratitude, of course. Now, if you do want to do that, you can just grab me a little coffee. And where? Well, just go to www.coffee.com. Alright, guys, so let's have a more detailed look at everything we're going to do today. So we're going to start with a little bit of vocabulary associated with brands, with the topic brand in general. So maybe a little bit of marketing things going on as well. Uh, we're going to have a look at some mispronounced brand names. I'm curious to say if you say them correctly or not. Then we'll have a look at brands with different names depending on the location, okay? Uh, in some countries, the name of a brand is slightly or completely different. So we're going to have a look at some examples of that. And then we're going to play a little game of matching the slogan to the company. All right, guys, so oh, I see we've had a few more comments. Tuck, tuck, tuck. All right. Ah, Sheriff is listening to the King of Pop. Okay, awesome. All right, guys, so let's jump straight away into the vocab category. So vocabulary associated with brands. Okay, so I'm going to put all of the words and read them so that you can hear the pronunciation as well. And then I will show the definition definitions that you are going to match okay you have to match the word here and the definitions that will appear here as well okay so the first one is branding strategy branding strategy then we have logo logo slogan slogan product line product line Market leader, market leader, target audience, target audience, viral marketing, viral marketing. Okay, so these are the main words we're going to focus on today. And now I'm going to show the definition. So remember, you have to match the words and the definitions together. So let's get started. The first one is a memorable phrase. A memorable phrase. What is a memorable phrase? If we have to choose one word here, which one would you choose, guys? So if you're new and if you don't know, I repeat that every time, there is a slight delay between the moment that you um, write your comment and the moment that I receive it. So if it takes a little while sometimes for me to react, it's normal. Okay, good. All right, so Khalid is, okay, you've been very busy, a lot of changes in the past two weeks. No problem at all, okay? I'm just happy to see you here today. Okay, let's have a look. So Sergi is saying you never pay attention to company slogans. Okay, <laughs> all right, indeed, Loli as well, Anna Rita, very good. A memorable phrase is a slogan. Okay, we're going to have a look at some very, very famous examples later in the live. Then, our next word is a long-term plan. So, I, I wrote only long-term plan, but if you want, it's a long-term plan of action, um, the whole strategy that a business has to be successful. That's what I mean by long-term plan. I just wanted to choose a very short um, definition so that I would fit in my screen, okay? So if we have long term, the word long term plan, which word would be would be associated with on this side? Okay, bye bye Khalid, nice to see you. Okay, 
All right, so share if you have a few examples, okay? So I'm purposely not going to say the name of those brands because we are going to have a look at them later. But yes, one of them is Impossible is Nothing, Just Do It, okay. Ah, yes, Sheriff, exactly. My slogan is keep on learning. Exactly, very good. Okay, and yes, Anna Rita is saying that this is the branding strategies, Sergi as well. Indeed, guys, very good. Okay, the long term strategy, long term strategy, a long term plan is so the branding strategy is a long term plan. Like I said, it's the whole strategy behind um, how a business is going to become successful. And that does include finding a goose, a good slogan and also a good logo. But we'll have a look in a minute. Next word is people. A product is designed for. People, a product is designed for. So which word does that describe? People, a product is designed for. Hmm, I wonder. <laughs> okay, any guesses guys? All right, so people, a group of people, and they are basically, ooh, I almost said a, a word, I almost gave it away. Okay, they are, who the product is aiming for okay they are the yeah the people that you know intended for that product <laughs> like i said all right so let's see who is the first one yes throw it very good you are the first one to answer yashar you answered as well exactly and um sergi as well Anna Rita, sheriff very good so this is the target audience the target audience very good okay next word we have that's an easy one a symbol adopted by an organization so i said organization is basically a group it could be a company it could be a non-profit organization okay it's basically a group of people working together towards something mine for example guys is this one okay this is my symbol, my, the symbol that I have adopted. So, what is this called? I don't know where to put myself with this. <laughs> Maybe I should just lower it down a little bit for now. Okay, so what is this? A little symbol. For example, for McDonald's, their little symbol is an M, a yellow M. What is that? Yes, Lolly. Yes, Troy. It is the logo. Absolutely. Very good, Sergi. Yashar. Fantastic. Okay, then we have related products sold by a company. Okay, so for example, it could be a group of products that kind of work together that you sell, that a company sells. So what could that be? Let's lower that again. Hopla. Uh, let's think. For example, it could be... Um, I don't want to... Okay. Um, let's say a clothing store has um, a collection. That would be one. A collection. Okay. So the summer collection. That would be an example. Uh, mm, no, it's not market leader, no. Hello, Francisco, nice to see you. So, no, product line, yes, Sergi. The products of a specific line, okay, very good, fantastic, okay. All of the products that go together, for example, it could be um, a line of um, face masks, where it's just Three or four products that you buy together you can also buy them separately but they come from the same collection okay very good um so straight yes yeah, shampoo conditioners could be examples absolutely why not why not hi bruna nice to meet you yes lolly indeed good job okay so we have two more words the next one is creating a buzz through social media so first, what is a buzz? It means a lot of attention, a lot of people talking about something. That's a buzz. So how do you create a buzz through social media? There's a word, I think, here that should give it away. I think, I think, okay? 
All right, so what do you think? Creating a buzz through social media. I'm curious, let me know guys. I will drink water while you answer. Indeed, Lolly, well done, spot on. Yashar, good job too. This is viral marketing. Viral marketing, fantastic. Good job, guys. So, the last one I think is fairly obvious. Company or product that outsells its competitors. Outsells means that sells much better, that is much better. It's the leader of the market in that particular field, okay? Good job. So we are done with the vocabulary aspect of the lesson and we are going to move on to mispronounced brands. Let's move. <laughs> Up, uh, okay, all right, I can come back to the middle of the picture. Okay, guys, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to show you the words first, okay, those brands, because I, I want you to tell me how you would pronounce them. Um, and I also have two options for pronunciation. So it's not um, phonetic spelling. I didn't transcribe the words. I just wrote them um, in a kind of phonetic way with normal letters because I feel not a lot of people are familiar with, um, with the phonetic alphabet, with the IPA, the International Phonetic Alphabet. So I decided to simplify it just a little bit like that, okay? So, the first word today, guys, is this one. So, this is a brand that you mentioned earlier, Sheriff. And so, there are two options. Are we going to stress the first letter of the word or are we going to stress the D? So, is it going to be Adidas or Adidas? Adidas. So, I've heard people say it both ways in general, but there is one real correct way of saying it, apparently. Okay, so Adidas or Adidas? What do you think? The first option or the second option? All right, come on guys, what do you think? Adidas or Adidas? Okay, so Sergi, you're saying it's the first one, Adidas, okay? That's how you kind of say it in French as well, Adidas. Um, yes, Anna Rita is saying the first one as well. Okay, guys. Oh, yeah, sure, you're saying the second one. Ah, well, officially the first word, the first way of pronouncing it is correct, but you will hear people say Adidas, okay? Not, not a big deal, guys. Now, just so you know, I realized I didn't really make it a quiz. Um, I think I've put the correct pronunciation first every time. <laughs> so it's not going to be a guessing game for the next ones, but you will hear how it's commonly pronounced and how it's correctly pronounced. Okay? Yes, it, it's not a last name, but it comes from the name of a person. He's called something D does something. That was very helpful. <laughs> but yeah, it comes from someone's name and that person is German indeed, indeed, indeed. So the next one is this one. So to correctly pronounce it, you should say, I believe, Nike, but you will hear people say Nike. Nike, Nike. In French, we say Nike as well, okay? Then we have this word, supposedly you're supposed to say Versace, Versace, but a lot of people say Versace, like you know Bruno Mars' song, Versace on the floor, <laughs> that one, well it's supposed to be Versace, not Chi, okay, good. Uh, so Saji, you do not own many things made by Adidas, me neither to be honest, I don't think I own anything of this brand hmm okay all right so the next word guys so this one is a, is a little bit interesting because it is a French brand 
Now, in general, in English, the CH is pronounced CH as if there was a T in front, okay? But because it is a French word, we are going to pronounce it SH. Like when you tell someone to be quiet, SH, SH. So this word is actually pronounced like you see it on the first option Chanel. Chanel and not Chanel or channel like some people say, okay? Because uh, another example, for example, another example, for example, uh, the word a chef, you know, a cook, a chef, because it is a French word, we don't say chef, we say f fresh chef, okay? So the CH is usually pronounced ch, but if it is a French word, you're going to pronounce it sh. Okay? Fantastic. Good. Hi, maybe we. How are you? Nice to see you. Okay. Do I have Nike or Nike trainers? I do! I do, Sheriff. You've got such good memory. I must have posted about that on Instagram, I think. Wow! Wow! So yeah, throw it. This is not how it's spelled, okay? This is the pronunciation in green. So yeah, this, the brand is Chanel, okay? Chanel, not Chanel or Chanel. Chanel. Sh Chanel. Good? <clears throat> okay, sorry. Uh, yes, it's a brand, it's a luxury brand, absolutely. So they do sell perfume, but they also sell makeup and clothing and jewelry and many, many expensive things that we can't afford. <laughs> okay, next one, another French brand, another one, a car brand this time. So, first of all, in French, it's pronounced Renault, Renault. In English... Renault, 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 Renault. But it's true that when people see French words, they tend to pronounce every single letter. And many people say the L and the T, Renault. But those are silent. We don't pronounce the L or the T. Okay, guys? Good. Fantastic. Srowit, tu parles un petit peu français, bravo. Bien joué. Bien joué, c'est trop vite. <laughs> okay, next word. This one surprised me a little bit. Apparently, I've been saying it wrong all along. So, you know what? We all learn all the time. <laughs> so, this word is supposedly pronounced Porsche. Porsche and not Porsche. What? I know, it's surprising, huh? I discovered that today and I was mind blown. So I thought I, I need to share that with you guys because I think you'll be surprised as well. Let me know if you're very surprised about the pronunciation of Porsche, apparently. <laughs> Let me know in the comment section, okay? Loli, bravo à toi aussi. Bien joué. Bien joué. Uh, so Sergi is saying we can't afford fake Chinese Chanel and Versace. Versace. Okay, that's kind of like a, a tongue twister, Sergi. We can't afford fake Chinese Chanel and Versace. Whew, difficult. <laughs> Good. Next one, da -ba -da -ba -ba, we have this one. Um, I always mispronounce this word, but I had heard of the fact that it was pronounced differently. So it wasn't as big of a surprise as Porsche. Um, but... This is supposedly pronounced Huawei or Huawei, not Huawei, Huawei. <laughs> it's a difficult one, isn't it? Huawei and not Huawei. <laughs> yeah, well, it's, I'm not Chinese, so forgive my pronunciation, guys. I'm not perfect for this because this is difficult, isn't it? So did you also pronounce it Huawei, reading every single letter? Or did you know how to pronounce this word? Hmm? Let me know, guys. And then, tuck, 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 we have, ha, another commonly mispronounced one, okay? It is Adobe and not Adobe. I said Adobe for years and years and years 
And I think last year or something, maybe last year or two years ago, I discovered it was Adobe. Adobe. So it's just a question of re-memorizing how to pronounce those words correctly and then, you know, then you'll be fine. <laughs> All right. So yeah, Anna, you, you're surprised about the pronunciation. Okay. Okay, guys. So we are going to move on to the next category, which is uh, brands that have a different name in a different country. Oop. So let's see. Okay. All right. So let's have a look first at the brands we will have a look at. So first there's Lay's. If you don't know, this is a brand that sells crisps. <coughs> Excuse me, a brand that sells crisps. Then, Lynx, a brand of deodorant, okay? Then we're gonna have Burger King. Yes, in one country, it's called something quite different because Burger King was already taken. <gasps> Yep, yep, yep. Okay, next one, we're going to have a look at Danone. Okay, I think it's French, I think. I hope so. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> then we have Coca-Cola Light, which is called something quite different in the US. Vaseline. Mr. Clean. Campbell Soup. So if you don't know what Campbell Soup, uh, Andy Warhol did... Um, a famous painting with a can of Campbell soup. Uh, I'm sure if you type it on uh, Google, you will see the photo and think, oh yeah, okay, I know what it is. All right, so let's see. For Lay's, uh, Sheriff is saying Chipsy. No, it's not Chipsy. Um, Lolly Danone Diary or Diary? No. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, so let me show you the first one. So the first one, Lay's, has a different name in the UK. In the UK, it's actually called Walkers. Walkers, not Lay's, Walkers. Surprising, hmm? Okay. Um, Sergi's saying, how do you pronounce chow me? I have no clue how to pronounce that word. <laughs> Yeah, okay, so yes, yeah, so yes, it is a French company, I was right. Okay, Lynx is pretty much called something else. It's, it's a different word everywhere else, or in many other countries, I think. Uh, in France, we don't call it Lynx, we call it Axe. Axe, okay, so in many countries it's called Lynx, in many countries it's called Axe. Okay. Um, oh, Sheriff, in Egypt you call it Chipsy? It has a different name in Egypt as well? Wow. I knew Lay's also had a different name in, I think it's Mexico, I think it's called Sombrita or something like that. I'm not sure, but it also has a quite different name over there. Now, like I said, guys, Burger King in a specific country, Down Under, do you know what that means? Down Under? Um, in that country, Burger King was already a type of restaurant. I think it was already a chain of fast food and they couldn't, you know, take the name Burger King because it was already taken. So they decided to go with Hungry Jack's in Australia. Hungry Jack's. It's the same. The logo is slightly different but quite similar, okay? Now, Danone, yes, the dairy company, lots of yogurt, ice cream, lots of things. Um, it, it's actually the same name in the US, but it's spelled differently. It is spelled like this. Danon, Danon, Danon. <laughs> okay. Then the famous Coca-Cola Coca Light is called in the US, so in the US it is called Diet Coke. And on the can, you can see, you can see it's a different name. Um, if you watch a lot of American TV shows or you follow YouTubers um, that like Diet Coke, for example, you'll see that their can looks different, okay? 
In France, it's France, sorry, it's Coca-Cola Light. In Spain, it's Coca-Cola Light. It's the same everywhere, except in the US. Next one, so yes, we were saying the Vaseline, and Sergi said it's a mix of paraffins, absolutely. Um, so it's kind of like a medicinal product, kind of, but it's an over-the-counter um, medicine uh, or an ointment, maybe. It's definitely not something that you need a prescription for, okay? Yes, Sheriff, good, you had that one. Co zero, Coke Zero, okay, that's a similar one as well. Okay, then Vaseline. So, Loli, you're Spanish, maybe you'll know. I think, no, Loli, you're, are you Spanish, Loli? I can't remember. I know Coke is Spanish, but um, Coke is not here. Well, if we have anybody who's Spanish in the comment section, guys, Vaseline, you will be familiar with it under a different name. Because in Spain and Portugal, it's actually called Basenol. Basenol. Okay, the V is pronounced like a B, okay? Basenol. And it's the same product, the logo is basically the same, except the words, the wording is slightly different, okay? Oh, you're French, Loli! Sorry, I don't know why. I think it's because Loli sounds Spanish. So, yeah, I just assumed you were Spanish, but you've told me before you were French. Absolutely. Yeah, I'm sorry. Forgive me. I'm, I don't know why I assumed you were, you, you were Spanish. Ah. <laughs> All right. Well, the next one. The next one is interesting. Mr. Clean. Mr. Clean is basically translated in every country. So in France, Monsieur Propre. In Spain, Don Limpio. Okay. Um, so I'm curious if you have the same brand. So it's a product that you use to clean the floor. Okay. Uh, let me know what it's called in your country. If it's slightly different or if you if you have it if it's called mr. clean or if it is translated into your own language and then the last one guys it's so uh, the Campbell soup it's called bachelors in the UK weird don't know why they changed it like that you know it's part of the whole marketing strategy it's probably a name that works better in the British market you know all right. <laughs> okay, guys, so let's move on to the last part today. We're going to be matching slogans to companies. Okay, so let's have a look first at all of our companies. What I'm going to do, I'm just going to put the names of the companies first because as I read them, as I pronounce them, that is going to give you some time to write down the name or the slogans that you do know, okay? And then I will show you all of the slogans so that you can actually match them. Deal? Deal! Now, before I do that, guys, can you give the video a big thumbs up? Give it a like, give it a like, give the video a big thumbs up, give it a like. Give it a like. Hey! <laughs> I'm a little bit crazy during the lives. <laughs> okay. So, last section of today's live. So, the first brand we're going to have a look at today is, again, a French company. It is L'Oreal or L'Oreal. 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 Okay? So, if you do know the slogan, write it down. So, Lolly, you definitely know this slogan in French. Do you know it in English, though? Hmm, do you know what the translation would be? <laughs> okay. Oh, so you have Mr. Muscle, Yashar. Okay. All right. Uh, so, Sheriff is saying, Koke wants to attend tomorrow's live marine. There's no live tomorrow. Tomorrow's Friday. It was only last week. It was exceptional. Um, but um, this week, it's, it's going to be on Saturday, okay? But I need to tell you about that a little bit at the end because it's not actually going to be a live. So we need to talk about that after, okay? All right. Next brand that we are going to have a look at is Pringles. Pringles, a brand of crisps. 
They come in a little tube, okay, a cardboard tubes, and they all have the exact same shape. Now I'm curious to know which one is your favorite flavor. I'm quite fond of the salt and vinegar one, and if they don't have the salt and vinegar because it's slightly less common, it's a less common flavor, I go for the, the good old sour cream and onions. It's always nice, always a good combination of flavors. So let me know guys in the comment section or in the chat uh, what your favorite Pringle flavor is. Okay? Good. All right. Loli, so you saying the French, vous le valez bien? I think that's the old version of the, lo the slogan. There's a newer version, I think. I think. Okay. Uh, oh, so said you've never heard of Pringles. They are yummy crisps. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. And Lolly, it's also sour cream for you. Okay, yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a very good flavor. I agree. So then Nike, okay? Nike, we are going to have a look at the slogan, but I think um, Sheriff had it earlier, I believe. Then Motorola, this is a kind of an old... Uh, phone company, cell phone company. I think they also do TVs and things like that, but uh, at one point they were a little bit bigger when it comes to phones, but not so much anymore. Hmm. Then KFC, which stands for Kentucky Fried Chicken. Ken Kentucky, not Kentucky. Kentucky Fried Chicken. So you know, from the name, I think you can deduct that it is um, some kind of restaurant that probably sells fried chicken. Yep, it's a fast food chain that sells fried chickens in fried chicken in buckets. Okay, in big boxes. All right. So, Lolly, you're very, very, very close. You're worth it. It's very close. Okay. Um, so you're sure saying it's like French word, les Pringles. Oui, les Pringles. <laughs> Sheriff, just do it. Yes, nice one. Hello, Thong Lee. Nice to see you. Okay, then the slogan for walkers or lays, depending on where you are in the world. We mentioned that earlier. It's another brand of crisps. Then McDonald's. You know this one. I think this is probably the most famous slogan in the world and they also have a little song remember the da 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 <laughs> and okay there's two more then is tesco if you have lived in the uk you know about tesco tesco is a chain of supermarkets i think it's one of the biggest ones along with probably sainsbury's maybe waitrose as well those are the main, the biggest um, supermarkets over there in the UK. I don't know why I pointed up, but yeah, the UK, they're there. Da. <laughs> okay. Oh, Sheriff, this is so good. Okay, I think, yeah, you got the KFC one. Okay. All right, and so just telling us a little bit more about Motorola. So Motorola was bought by a Chinese company called, oh yeah, Lenovo, they do laptops. And Lenovo was IBM. Okay, so in the past it was IBM. Okay, cool. So one more brand, guys. This one, I think you'll, you'll get it. It's not too difficult. It is Wikipedia. Wikipedia, haha. <coughs> okay, so Sheriff, you had guessed a few, a few ones, a few ones, a few slogans. So you got the Just Do It. So this one was for Nike and you got the finger licking good for KFC. All right. And Lolly, you were very close. You were very close. Where is it? So you said I'm worth it or something like that. It's actually because you're worth it for L'Oreal. Now, in French, if I remember correctly, Loli, tell me if I'm wrong, um, the slogan is Parce que je le veux bien. Parce que je le veux bien. Okay? 
Yep. <laughs> I'm speaking a lot of French today, guys. All right. So let me show you the rest of the options we have. Hello, Moto. I'm loving it. Every little helps. Once you pop, you can't stop. The free encyclopedia and bet you can't just eat one. No, sorry, bet you can't eat just one. Bet cha is I bet you, okay? I bet you, which is pretty much I'm sure you. Okay. All right, guys. So now let's see which ones you can connect. Um, so, Sheriff, you're saying the free encyclopedia, mm, but for which one? Oh, you were already giving the answer for the previous one? Well, okay, I think this one is pretty obvious anyway. Encyclopedia, Wikipedia, okay, there's the same word in it. All right, so yes, the slogan for Wik Wikipedia is the free encyclopedia. Okay, now, what about I'm loving it? This is one of the most famous slogans in the world. Because it is one of the biggest companies in that field in the world. And it is a massive corporation, I think. They must be in every single country in the world, maybe except for, you know, North Korea or something like that. <clears throat> yes, Loli. Wikipedia, the free encyclopedia, very good. The same, Sergi, well done. And yes, Sergi, you said Motorola is Hello Moto. Hello Moto. It sounds funny, doesn't it? Hello Moto. <laughs> okay. Hey Nazakat, nice to meet you. Yes, MCD McDonald's is I'm loving it. Ta da 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 da. Very good. So we have three more slogans and three more companies to match. Can you get them? So it's going to be difficult a little bit for Pringles and for Walkers, I think, because they are both crisps brand, crisp brands. Uh, oh, I'm just drinking water today, guys. It, it's a Coca-Cola glass, but it's just water. Nothing fancy today. I was a little bit late, so that's why I didn't have coffee today. <laughs> A uh, good guess, Sheriff, but no. Pringles, it's not. Uh, no, Tesco's, it's not. Uh, once you pop, you can't stop. No. Yes, Yashar, every little helps. So this is a slogan basically um, trying to say that, you know, they do offers, they do, they have discounts. Just to say that every little thing you can get or that, you know, you can have cheaper, anything is good. That's what they're saying. They're saying, um, if you come to our company, to our shop, you'll find something that will help you out. Okay, that's how I understand that slogan. And um, they always say it at the end of every commercial. Okay, good. And then walkers, once you pop. So no, um, think about it, guys. To pop, it needs to make kind of like a pop sound. Now, do you think... I guess a bag could do a pop sound, but the pop one is actually for Pringles for when you pop open the box, okay? You pop, so once you pop, you can't stop. And the last one then is, bet you can't eat just one. Bet you can't eat just one. It's pretty fun to say. <laughs> I like how this sounds. Okay, so yes, Sergi, it was the other way around. Now, Sheriff Tesco, Tesco is a grocery store, a grocery store, okay? A big supermarket like you might know of Carrefour. That's another big one, but you don't have that in the, in the UK. Um, to me, because, you know, we have Carrefour in France, I feel that Tesco and Carrefour are slightly different. Um, and then, like I said, there's other ones like Sainsbury's that I think is slightly more upscale just a little bit. And then you have Waitrose, which if I remember is cheaper as well, I think. Okay. It's just a big chain of grocery, grocery stores. Okay. Good. Hello, Nisha. Nice to see you. You're just arriving at the end of the lesson. We're almost finished. Oh, but don't worry. 
I recommend that you go back and continue watching because I think this was a fun lesson. <laughs> All right, guys. So, uh, if you have any questions now, now is the time. I see that, for example, Nazakat has one. What is insomnia? So, insomnia is a condition which basically... Basically, you have a lot of problems sleeping at night, okay? You just can't fall asleep. That's what insomnia is, okay? Uh, so yeah, share if you have care for it. Aldi is another, is another type of shop, absolutely. Okay. So, White Dove, I'm from England and I've never heard that Walker slogan. Well, maybe they just don't use it so much. I guess some companies don't really, you know, play with the slogan. Maybe that's why. Okay. All right. So, guys, go ahead. Feel free to leave your questions in the in the chat. I'm going to move on to the bye bye slide, um, and I have a few things to tell you about the live on Saturday. So please make sure you stay until the very end, guys. Uh, okay, to know more about the um, the practice. Okay. Uh, so Naskat, I will talk about the live in just a minute. Okay. Uh, all right. So. Before I continue, guys, I just want to remember that you could become a patron and get a big shout out on Saturday, okay? Um, to do that, you can just get me a cup of coffee. Where? At www.wifi.coffee.com, okay? Now, about the live. Some of you seem to believe that I'm going live tomorrow. Um, I only did that last week because I was a little bit... And I was feeling under the weather last Thursday, so I moved the live to Friday. But there's no live on Saturday. Now, there will be a lesson uh, on YouTube on Saturday as usual, which is our listening practice. Unfortunately, just at the time of the live, I will be driving to Portugal. So what I have done is I have recorded everything. I have prepared <clears throat> the little introduction where you get to meet the new teacher, his little video, because it's a boy. Um, we're going, I'm going to explain the vocabulary as well, um, just as usual. The only difference is I will not be doing it live, it is already recorded. Now, what I'm going to do is at that particular moment when the video goes live, I will not be driving, my partner will be driving, so that I can watch the lesson with you at the same time and participate in the comment section, okay? That way, in case you have questions or doubts, I'll be able to answer them on the spot with you guys. Okay, I'm going to set it up as a premiere. I, it's, an, it's a thing on YouTube, apparently. I'm going to try that. Okay, I'm going to premiere the video and watch it with you guys at the same time. Um, that way you can tell me your feedback straight away and, um, and participate and just, you know, ask questions in general. Okay, guys? Good. All right. Uh, so I see there are some questions here. Um, also, absolutely, um, maybe we. Um, yesterday I did, um, well, I did, I collaborated with Ask Teacher Will, um, Actually, if you go to my page, to my community tab, you will see the link to the video. If not, I am definitely going to add the video onto my collaboration um, playlist and you can watch that video. It's part of the Insight series where Will asks some questions to uh, different people, <clears throat> native speakers, non-native speakers, and it's a really, really good idea because in real life, guys, you will speak English with people that are not always native speakers. So it's good to be familiar with any kind of accent. And, you know, I tell you a little bit about me. So if you're interested, definitely go watch it. So give some uh, support to teacher Will. Give his video a big thumbs up. Share it. And also make sure you subscribe to his channel, guys. Now... Make sure you also subscribe to mine, okay? Subscribe to my channel, give the video a big thumbs up and press the bell button for notifications, okay? All right. <clears throat> oh, he was asking for ammonia <laughs> and I was explaining insomnia. <laughs> Lolly lol. Uh, ammonia, I think, is a product. It's 
quite a strong smelling product. Uh, but I'm not a chemist, so I don't know 100%. But it is definitely um, a liquid product, a strong product. Um, I think my grandmother uses it to clean sometimes, but it's a very, very, very strong product. Um, what is my inspiration for both my logo and my slogan? Uh, for my logo, I definitely wanted something very colorful because I, I like colors. Um, and I wanted something that would look good as well with what I already had achieved, which was my Instagram page and um, <clears throat> to match all of the thumbnails that I have. So I needed something colorful, something that showed the name and I did want to have a little element of English. Um, so that's why on the, um, the little speaker thing, there's um, a little bit of a British flag on it. Now for the slogan, um, this is just what kind of just came naturally to me. Um, I wanted something short, something quick, something that, you know, applies to everybody because to be honest, nobody ever stops learning or nobody should ever stop learning. We should all just keep on learning and keep on learning and keep on learning. So I thought it was very fitting. That's, that's why I chose it, okay? Um, then Yashar, absolutely, there are different ways to pronounce the or the. Usually, you say the when the word after starts with a vowel, the elephant. Uh, but people in general, I make that mistake myself, people sometimes just say the when they're trying to emphasize the word as well. Um, in, it was the building when really it should be, it was the building. But it's a way of emphasizing a little bit, okay? But officially, it should be only if the word coming after uh, starts with a vowel, okay? Uh, 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 have you thought about showing up on TV or making a radio interview? I don't think that would interest anybody, Sheriff. <laughs> okay. Um, tuck, tuck, tuck. All right, so Sheriff, awesome. Go watch it, absolutely. The messy room vlog was useful and fun. I'm so glad you liked it. <laughs> I was a bit worried about showing you home. So it's still a little bit messy, but it's so much better. I mean, there's one thing on the floor, but that's okay. That's just because there's things that I can't really get rid of, but that's okay, right? It's much better, much better organized it is. Yes. <laughs> okay, let's see. Yes, I wake up fairly early, absolutely. Hi, Darren. Yes, we're kind of at the end of the live, but don't worry, you can go back and do all of the activities. Um, you don't need to be live to do them. So feel free to do that, please. And let me know in the comment section, give your answers, um, tell me how you like the lesson, okay? Uh, 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 uh. How about brand English for stupid students? <laughs> um, it would sound a little bit offensive, do you know there's a brand which is, um, you know, something something for dummies? Um, it's a brand of books. It's a kind of a line of books, a collection of books. Uh, they're black and yellow and it's basically explaining the very basics of something. So you have interviews for dummies, uh, business English for dummies, uh, I don't know, cooking for dummies. And it really gives you a very, very basic idea of what it is. And um, so yeah, dummies. Um, is a more acceptable word than stupid students, I think. <laughs> exactly, thank you, Nitha. Nishan, it's not that messy. Oh, maybe we are saying that it's chaos. Ah! <laughs> you are harsh, maybe we. You're very harsh. <laughs> um, it, I think it's because there's my board. There's one bag on the floor that I agree is messy. It's one bag on the floor. And there's, um, there's a little mattress against the wall because uh, when we have people who come around, uh, my workroom turns into a kind of a spare bedroom. So that's why there's um, a mattress on my wall. <laughs> Funny, right? All right, guys, so do you have any more last minute questions? Anything you'd like me to go over very quickly? Um, so Sergi, you say in Ukraine you call it for kettles. So yeah, in English we've seen the, an expression before um, a few months ago. I taught you the expression an early bird. 
I'm definitely an early bird. Now the opposite, which is someone who likes to go to sleep late, um, that's a night owl. And that's my problem. I'm both. I'm an early bird and I'm a night owl. I don't need that much sleep. I think six hours is usually all I need. I don't need much more than that. Doesn't mean I only sleep six hours every night. I sleep more than that sometimes. But if I get my six hour quota, I'm good and fresh for the day. <laughs> okay. Oh, don't worry, maybe we, I know you're joking, it's fine. <laughs> if I was really that embarrassed, I wouldn't show you anyway, so we good. <laughs> All right, guys, well, I think that's pretty much the end. I really look forward to seeing you uh, in the chat on Saturday. It will be at the same time at 11 a.m., okay? It's not a live, it's an actual lesson okay guys uh but it's going to be the same i'm going to explain uh, a few words before we start the lesson i'm going to introduce our teacher um a few words about our teacher so you know it's a male it's a male teacher and one tip that i'm going to give you about that teacher is that he currently lives in japan so if you follow me on instagram and you know the teachers that i talk to that i do challenges with and things like that um, you should know or have an idea of who I'm talking about, okay? All right. Uh, 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 um. So Sheriff is saying, I wish I could see you collab with Tanya, Jennifer and Rebecca. Well, you know, there's a lot more collaborations coming um, very soon. So don't despair. It might be on, on its way, you know. <laughs> Hello, Adolf Schmidt. Nice to see you. Lolly is a night owl, okay. Oh, sorry, <laughs> Sergi, you said um, book for kettles, <laughs> not um, an early bird. Okay, sorry, I, I misunderstood you here. <laughs> hey, e -E you, how are you? All right, well, yes, thank you, Stroy. It's been really fun spending the class with you two guys. But we are hitting the hour mark, so it's going to be time for me to go. I have to go prepare class for four? No, which is in about an hour. So I need to get ready, have some coffee and start teaching, guys. So I wish you all a wonderful evening, afternoon, morning, depending on where you are. I hope you really enjoyed the lesson. If you did, please give the video a big thumbs up share it so that we can help and reach even more learners now that's it for today guys thank you so much for watching and of course keep on learning bye see you soon see you on saturday so guys if you are curious and you want to hear me speak french my native language make sure to check the video that i released last week on how to pronounce the alphabet